Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Rory and today I want to talk to you about a tripod that's been sent out to me, the Small Rig CT10, which is a small travel tripod. Um, it's also an inexpensive tripod. So full disclosure right from the start, I'll let you know Small Rig have sent this out to me. They, um, they've asked me to do a small review on it. Uh, they haven't paid me to do it. They're not going to see the video before I uh, release it. But um, yeah, they've just asked me to do a review on it to see what I reckon about this tripod. Now, Obviously, I've been in the industry for a while now. I have had I've had cheap tripods. I've had really expensive tripods, and I really feel like a good tripod is almost essential for anybody who uses a camera. Really, it's uh, one of those pieces of equipment that isn't necessarily a fun thing to buy, but it's something that everybody should have. So yeah, let's um. Th this tripod it's marketed as a travel tripod. Um, when you get it, it actually um it actually folds down a lot smaller than this. Um. This is actually the, the size of the bag. So as you can see beside it, the um, tripod's quite a bit bigger than the bag. So it does fold down a little bit smaller than this. Um, inside you do get the tripod. Um, you also get uh, like obviously an instruction manual. Um, you get a mobile phone holder, which is actually really nice if you wanted to put your mobile phone on the tripod to um, use it to take selfies or whatever. And you get some bits and pieces like um, some metal feet uh, for if you're on grass, you get Allen keys, and you've got a little plate. Now, um, this is an Arca Swiss plate. Now, let's just talk about the tripod for a bit. So, this tripod is definitely designed and marketed as a travel tripod. Um, it's, it's lightweight enough, it's made of aluminium, um, it's certainly not made of like something like carbon fibre, so it's not going to be as light as something like the Peak Design tripod. But, I mean, this, is, this comes in at about, oh, what was it? Yeah, it com it comes in at like seventy US dollars. It's sixty nine ninety nine US dollars on Amazon. Um, I'll leave a link down below where you can actually pick one of these up if if you decide to afterwards. So it's a very inexpensive tripod, um, which means that you can be a lot more comfortable giving it a beating because if it breaks or anything, then you're not you haven't like wasted a lot of money. Um, with the tripod, it extends uh, right up to seventy one inches uh, from sixteen inches, so you do get like quite a lot of room. Um, it can be like above your above your eye height there. Um, the legs obviously extend with these clip things and I actually like these with a lot of cheap tripods I've had they've been a bit mushy but you get like that really that really nice click as it locks into place. And I've put a fair amount of weight on this. I've pushed down with my hands and I haven't been able to um, to like make the make the legs uh, slip in any way. Now one of the features that small rig are quite excited about with this is that it's a two-in-one tripod, and I've seen these advertised before, but I've never actually had my hands on one. So what that is, it's basically, it can be like a normal tripod, um, or you can actually take this leg off, and you can take the ball head off up here. I'll put those down. And you can turn it into a monopod, which is like, a nice feature if you were like out shooting wildlife or something and you wanted to be like really versatile and quick you can quickly turn this into a monopod um, just to help support your back and stop you from yeah, having to hold the camera all the time so yeah it's actually it's not a feature that I would have ever thought I would want out of a camera but uh, out of a tripod but having a play with it it's actually like a nice little feature to have now, I would have liked to have made this video out in the wild. I had a plan to actually go and shoot, uh, teach how to shoot long exposure photography with a waterfall, but I, um, with the weather being the way it is here at the moment, I haven't really been able to get out and do that. But I have managed to get out and use it on a couple of jobs. Um, I mean, like, I used it the other day to shoot these self-portraits. And, like, I mean, I, I was planning on doing a review video, uh, sorry, I was planning on doing a tutorial to show you how to shoot these self-portraits at some point, and if that's something that you're interested in, how to shoot self-portraits on a Panasonic S5 using just the camera and nothing else, and a tripod, obviously, then, yeah, let me know in the comments below. But So, yeah, going back to the uh, back to the tripod, I'll put this back on here now. The um, It comes with a decent ball head for the price. Um, it's obviously not going to win any awards because it is just a $69 tripod, but the um, the ball head isn't bad. It's got um, it's got spirit levels on all the sides, which is nice. Um, you've got the lock in order to lock the pan, but then 
with the ball head, and this kind of confuses me, there's actually two thumb screws here um, that loosen up this ball. Um, and if you tighten one up, then it becomes completely un like unloosenable. If you tighten the other one up, it becomes yeah, completely stiff. So I don't know why they've put two on here. I can't really understand why they've done that, but I mean, you can just operate one and that's perfectly fine. If you just leave one undone all the time, you can just use one to tighten it and loosen it. One thing that I do really like though, is that they've put a um, Arca Swiss mount on here. And an Arca, I mean, I use Arca Swiss on all of my cameras, but uh, one thing I really like is with a lot of the small rig cages, um, particularly the cage I'm using on the Panasonic S5 Mark II, uh, they actually have an arc mount built into the cage, which means you don't need to mess around with um, the actual plates anymore. And it also means the plates can't twist and move, like get loose. So if you're using it in a cage, um, that's actually like a really nice feature to have. Um, when it comes to the load capacity of the tripod, small rig claim that it can support up to 15 kilograms um, without it pushing down on the on the legs. Um, as I said before, I did put a bit of weight on to see if I could get the legs to slip and I wasn't able to. So I've got no reason to doubt that claim that they've made for the for the 15 kilogram weight limit, which is like, a, that's a decent amount of weight. You're not gonna get, if you've got a 15 kilogram camera, you're not putting it on a $69 tripod. I can guarantee you that. So, I mean, the, realistically, the kind of, the kind of cameras that are, going to be get, uh, that are going to be put on this tripod are going to be perfectly fine. Um, the other thing that I really like is, obviously, these legs, you can, like, fold them, you can fold them right up or you can fold them halfway up. But this clip here, it, it's actually aluminium. It's not, um, it's, yeah, so it's an aluminium clip. It's not a plastic clip. And on tr uh, cheap tripods that I've used in the past, that uh, plastic clip has broken which has basically uh, rendered the entire tripod completely useless. Um, and then like just, I guess the overall feel of it, it's, it's got a nice feel to it. It's, it's clean. Um, I, I like these little red touches that Small Rig have put on it. I think that, I think that looks nice. Um, it's not tacky. It, it definitely will hold, um, like it, it will definitely be a good ca uh, good tripod to use for the average I guess, travel user. And that's really what they're marketing at. They're marketing it to the travel market. Um, and that's why they reached out to me. Yeah. So if you're not, if you're not super concerned about the weight of the actual tripod, then yeah, definitely get your hands on one of these. This is only about one and a half kilos, which is not a huge amount of weight. If you're hiking or something, then maybe a carbon fiber tripod would be a better, better option for you. But yeah, if you're not super worried about the, the weight of the tripod, this is a, a great little travel tripod to, um, either take photos of wildlife or scenery or whatever, or even just to be able to like film and shoot yourself. So yeah. So yeah, thanks. Um, thanks so much for watching guys. I hope you guys found it useful. Like I said, if, if it's something that you want to pick up, then there'll be a, a link uh, down below where you can pick one of these tripods up. I think it, like, I, I definitely think it's absolutely worth the money. Like you would, I've, I've had tripods that I've spent a couple of hundred dollars on that aren't as um, sturdy and don't feel as nice as this one does. So for, for $69, I really think you can't go wrong. Um, and it's, it's nice to have that. Um, I mean, if you, if you're getting into the industry, it's nice to have a cheap tripod. If you've been in the industry for a while, it's still nice to have a cheap tripod because you never know when, um, you're going to need something like this. Um, something that has a small footprint, it's lightweight, you can get in and out easily. So yeah, I'll definitely be using this in the future. Um, it'll probably come with me to Bali when we go over there in a couple of months time. So yeah, it's um yeah, it's a, it's a good tripod. I can highly recommend it. I mean, there's not so there's not too much you can say about a tripod. It's um they're, they're designed to do one purpose. They're designed to hold the camera and they're designed to hold the camera still, and it does that. And it does that cheaply. So I mean, what what more can you say that it's yeah, it, it it's definitely something that I would recommend to other people. Um, even if I had to go out and buy this by, by myself. I mean, I obviously like small rig gear. I've got a lot of small rig equipment, but yeah. Sorry, it's a bit um, bit rambling. I would have liked to have shown you it out in the wild, um, so out getting actually used on a job or something. But yeah, like I said, with the with the weather the way it is at the moment in southern Australia, it's not super warm. But um, yeah, we'll get out there and we'll make some more videos soon. But in the meantime, um, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and hit subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.